This is my wig. Out the gym. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so it all starts when I need a Halloween costume. This year, I decide to be Jimin from BTS. My love. I love Jimin. He is a complex creature. He has so many different looks as a K-pop star. There's pink mochi Jimin, there's squishy Jimin, clumsy Jimin, half-naked on national television Jimin. A lot of different Jimins going on, a lot of different ones to choose from. Um, and so eventually I went for the dope era Jimin because like that's that's what introduced me into BTS. He has like his red hair. He has his tucked in shirt. Jimin in tucked shirts is just And there was a certain point in the music video that I had to keep on replaying because it was just, it was, it was so sexy. Um, it was when he was like taking off his glasses. There are so many qualities that make Jimin, Jimin. He has these like super extra dance moves. He has that really distinctive eye smile that he does. He has that boyish sounding voice, which I love. <laughs> He has his schmod hands. He has this like general sexy aura about him. So I tried to pick up on little mannerisms that Jimin had. The way that he stands, his posture is really nice. The way he holds himself in performances is just really like, you know, like really, really masculine. He just constantly looks like he's hitting on you when he's performing. Which is precisely why every single time that I watch a video of Jimin performing, I just kind of die. I was constantly googling, searching Jimin pics for, for research purposes, you know, no other reason. So I ordered a wig off the internet, I borrowed some of my friend's clothes, Lo and behold, I had my Jimin cosplay. I tried really, really hard to look cool being Jimin, but I make a really awkward looking guy. Some girls, they really look the part, like they got swag. I don't possess any swag whatsoever. I really did try my best, you guys, but honestly, I came out looking like a creepy, bug-eyed uncle. So for some reason, I decided that it would be a good idea to take this Jimin costume to a party. And so I arrived at a college party, like, dressed up as a K-pop star. <coughs> we arrived late, and so people were already kind of like, I'm so drunk at the party, hi. You know, they were already kind of loosey-goosey. So luckily my friends are really, really supportive of all of my shenanigans. One of my friends at the party, when she saw me dressed as Jimin, she was like, oh my god, girl, you dressed as Jimin. Can you, can you do, can you do this? Can you do some of that? Can you, can you do that? And so I did that. And this was the resulting snap. Some overall reactions I got at the party. I definitely got a few weird looks. Oh, by the way, I also had like my little surgical mask that said Jimin, just in case people thought I was like an anime character or whatever. So I said hi to all my friends, and later on in the party, I got approached by two other girls. And they were saying things like, Oh my god, I love Jimin. You are so cute. You are so cute. I love Jimin. Let's take a photo. I think they were like reading my surgical mask. That's cool. That's cool. If I saw someone dressed as Jimin at a party, I'd probably almost act the exact same way. Anyways, the girls kept asking me for photos, um, both of them. They kept wanting to take photos for their Instagram and for their Snapchat. We kept taking the exact same photo. Like, they wanted both of their legs, like, I don't know if I can demonstrate. They wanted their, their legs up. They, they wanted their legs up, like, and they wanted me to hold their legs for them. And I honestly wish that I had that photo still because, like, it's just so awkward. It's like, she was like taller than me. She wanted me to hold her leg. I'm just sitting here looking like a dazed fuckboy, like trying to look cool like... 
Like honestly, I'm already awkward as a girl as it is. When I try to act like someone else, it comes across as like 10 times more awkward. So I have no idea why I thought it would be a good idea to dress up as Jimin. When those two girls approached me and they wanted photos and they were like totally fangirling or whatever, I felt super, super validated. I was like, wow, I probably did like a really good job as Jimin. <laughs> like a few hours later into the party, um, I made friends with this other army person and I was just like extensively talking to them about BTS. One of the girls, or she came towards us. And so, you know, like I decided to be nice and like introduce the two. I was like, blah, 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 this is blah, blah, blah. She also likes BTS. And the guy was like, oh my God, the, you like BTS too? And literally the girl just stared at us like. Silence. Radio silence. <laughs> she has no idea what we're talking about. Has no clue who BTS is. After like this blank stare that she gives us, she says to us, I don't follow that anime. BTS, the anime. BTS, the anime you don't follow. I mean, for the record, these girls were very drunk and I don't judge people when they're drunk. I have a sneaking suspicion that she had no idea who Jimin was. I love Jimin. But maybe mistook me for some kind of anime character. I don't know, are there any other anime characters named Jimin? Please let me know because I'm confused. The disappointment that I felt in my heart. We could have been friends. I was looking forward to exchanging Jimin memes with you, okay? The foundation of our newfound friendship has been built on lies. Lies. Okay, okay. I am obviously joking. We probably would have gotten along fine regardless. Both of the girls seemed really, really nice. But um, I ended up not running into those girls again ever since the party anyway, so. By the way, I just wanted to mention that whenever I have like my hair done, my makeup done, my outfit is looking right, whenever I have everything together, 90% of the time I come to these kinds of parties looking like that, people don't approach me, which is fine. I mostly come out to these kinds of parties to hang out, to be with my friends, to be with the people that I care about, or to potentially find a husband. But for some reason, when I wear my Jimin costume, I automatically have more game than I do just dressed normally. And that is the magic of Jimin, guys. It really makes me wonder about Jimin though, because do people hit on him? Like when he's just walking about in the streets, you know? He's a really attractive human being and he has a lot of fans, so I'm sure he gets hit on or has been hit on in public in the past, you know? But yeah, that concludes today's video. And before I wrap up, thank you so much for 1,000 of you that have, for some reason, subscribed to my channel. Leave a comment below. I love reading them. See you guys later.